first get into a new prompt, we're going to read all three sources. After we read all three sources, then we pick one source and we look for evidence and significance. Yeah. Right? So we did that for our first three um, resources. Yes or no? Yes. All right. So what we're going to do today is actually start with our writing process. So what we're going to start with today is our open routine which is basically asking you guys, what is in an introductory paragraph? So what is it that we must have in order for us to have a successful introductory paragraph? A hook. A hook. Very good. And what is a hook? It grabs your attention. Very good. It grabs your attention. Here are many different types of hooks. You can use an antidote, which is a short story. You can use figurative language, statistics, or a quote. Right? You must introduce the topic in your introductory paragraph, and you need to have a claim statement. Do you guys understand? Yes. So we need a hook, we need to introduce the topic to the reader, and we need to have a claim statement. Go ahead and write this down as your opening routine. You guys have five minutes. Miss Grant, yes. the password have to be in? That's this thing. Is the, am I recording? Yes, it's recording. It's recording? Okay. So don't don't worry about this right here. Mm -hmm. okay. They got have five minutes. I'm throwing the pen. Very good. I'm glad you found the pen. So we need a hook. We need to introduce our topic. And we must have a clean statement. Without a clean statement, we cannot write an argumentative essay because what are we going to argue? Absolutely nothing. One minute left on the clock. to the topic and a claim statement. Three easy steps. 30 seconds. Alright. Are there any questions on what we must have in our introductory paragraph?
All right, guys, so if you have not got it at this point, you need to get it from your um, neighbor because we need to move on. So we're going to take a step away from our introduction. We're going to talk about how we are going to write our essay because have we made a claim yet on our argumentative essay? No. No, we haven't made a claim yet. As a matter of fact, can someone remind me of what our essay topic is all about? Can someone read for me the pump that we're writing on? Trayvon? We're writing on a group of parents and teachers and schools. Oh, high school sport, high school sports good for kids. Our high school sports good for kids. Okay, our high school sport is good for kids. Did they use the word good? What word did they use? Beneficial. Beneficial. We have to use that word because that's what the topic is asking us about. So they're asking us, are high school sports beneficial for students? How many articles did we read? Three. 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 Are we read sources two and source three the last time I saw you guys, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so let's flip back to our end product because that's going to help us make our claim statement for today. Because we can't write an introductory paragraph without a claim. Are we all together? All right, so let's go back to our very last end product where you guys had to tell me what source supported the argument. Okay? So can I have Jasmine to read for me her end product from the last class we met? What is your end product say? It says the last source that best support the claim. Wait, the last source best support the claim that sports programs are not beneficial for students in source three. For example, in source three, it says Poland is a surprising educational success story. They have no football team, or for that matter, no teams of any kind. This evidence shows that without having any school sport or activities, students have a better chance of being more educated and more focused on their education. Pause, right there. All right, so we know that if we're looking at our articles, if we, if we reflect for a moment, our, our sources support what side of the argument that sports are beneficial or that sports are not beneficial? Are not beneficial. Are not beneficial. So we know the thing that we're going to take. However, before we can even start writing our introductory paragraph, what must we have? An outline. How many of you guys have ever written an outline before? Excellent. That's just how I like it. So no one has ever written an outline. So I am going to give you guys what you are always going to use in my writing class when it's time for us to write an essay. An outline. You cannot write on these papers. Okay. So today we're actually going to construct an outline together because you guys have never done it before. And then, from our outline, you guys are going to be held responsible for writing your very own introductory paragraph. Make sense? You're welcome. What 
what are they? An antidote, which is what? A short story you can use. Figurative language. If you have people in language arts, we went over two types of figurative languages yesterday. We can use statistics. What is statistics? What are statistics? Not a reason. Mm -mm. What are statistics? Not a, it's, it's, it is a part of a statement, but statistics have something in it. It's made up of something. Okay, so she said, um, Jackson said they have evidence, but what? Okay, so we have evidence. Evidence is our known as what? Not details. It starts with the F. Facts. Right? Statistics are facts that can be proven. All right? And it's usually numbers. And our last type of hook we can use is a what? Quote. A quote. It can be a quote from a famous person, or a quote from a friend, or a quote from a family member. All right? So, the first thing we're going to focus on is our hook. Now, we know that our topic is dealing with our sports beneficial for students. We said that we're going to say that sports are not beneficial for students. So, therefore, we're going to come up with the hook. And, of course, Ms. Grant already modeled for you what a hook should look like. So, here's my hook, and I am going to highlight it for us. Because the hook is the very first thing that you see in your opening introductory paragraph. So, here is Mrs. Grant's hook. And I'm going to highlight my hook in green. And it says, how can you open a school that does not have sports and expect the students to have a shot at being successful? Yells the mother of a potential junior student in Wisconsin High School. Guys, what type of hook is this? A question hook. I mean, cool. Mm -hmm. Remember, question what? Good answer. Thank you for being brave. But um, can we, if, on our, if we go back up to our list, do we have question as a hook no, type? No. 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 But what is quote. it? It's a quote. Who said it? No, the mom. The mom of the student who has the, the who has the ability or who might be going to Wisconsin High School. So what are you guys going to do right now? We are going to make up a hook together as a class. But we need to agree on what type of hook we want to use. Quote. I already used the quote, so we're definitely not going to use the quote. A Okay, I hear figurative language. What type of figurative language do you want to use? Um, um, okay, so how can we start off? Let me back up first because I want us to understand when we use figurative language in writing as a hook, the type of figurative language that you usually use is onomatopoeia. That sound. Boom, bam, like that. So are, do you, do as a class, we have to agree. Do we want to use figurative language? Yes. 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 Okay, so then let's come up with the quote together. What we're going to do, what I'm going to do is give you guys 60 seconds to come up with your own hook individually. And then I am going to call on one student randomly, and we are going to go with that student's hook and we may have to just change it up a little bit. So I'm going to give you guys 60 seconds right now. We want our blank page because we're starting off with our, um, our outline. So the first thing we need to come up with is a hook and we decided as a class to use onomatopoeia. So right now there should be absolutely no talking because as a, a, your own individual you're coming up with your own hook. So for an outline, so you have 60 seconds and the time starts now to come up with your own hook using onomatopoeia. Sound effect.